Anya from Toronto, Ontario. I'm a Carleton Industrial Design student and I'm doing my thesis project on Loda, but I'm focusing on temporary housing. Vengo a buscar, te llevaré. Vengo a buscarte, yo te llevaré. Dame tu mano, no me dejes. What, what, what was your experience in your first few days here? The first day when I was with you and we went inside the Mediawas, it's unbelievable. Like we complain about our problems and our living situations in Toronto and in the West and you live here and there's four people living in a four by four by eight, three by six, three by six uh, meter space and it's unreal like how people actually are living in like this and they're dealing with issues that we take for granted like everyday issues like water and food and just hygiene and stuff like that. I think this is a really unique experience to get into humanitarian design and try to do something that's less commercial and actually design something to actually help people. Not that other products don't help people, but this is more real in terms of how people are dealing with living day to day. This is my project, the DR toilet, the disaster relief toilet system. Now what this is, is it's a flat pack toilet system for disaster relief. Aid organizations can easily send this out during the, um, following a natural disaster. Now, Currently 2.6 billion individuals around the world lack basic sanitation needs. Now just to give you some background on how I came upon this project was right now when I, focused, when I went to Chile and in, in the town of Loda, the town of Loda has a population of 50,000 and 10,000 of those individuals unfortunately live in temporary housing. Now there's a lot of issues with the temporary housing areas, but I decided to focus on the sanitation issues. Now currently, there's three main ways of going to the bathroom. There's the porta potty, the chemical bathroom, which is really gross and really not up to standards. Um, then you have the shipping containers, which is a really great option, but not a lot of individuals have, to have this option available for them. And last, unfortunately, people use buckets. Now what made me really, what inspired me to do this project was um, this family right here. Now, the thing about this family was that they live in a temporary housing area away from a temporary housing community, so they're kind of off to their own. Now, they use a bucket, unfortunately, and the woman was actually pregnant. Now, the night before I actually interviewed them, the, man, the gentleman was actually discarding his waste, and what happened was the police stopped him and gave him a warning for doing that. So right then and there, I knew I had to do this. Now, looking at the bigger picture, places like Haiti, people are going to the bathroom in the water, then they're drinking the water, and that's how diseases like cholera and other diarrheal diseases are spreading. Now, how my system works. Number one, it's a flat pack system. So it could easily be sent out by aid organizations following a natural disaster. Second, the assembly. It's really easy to put together. It simply just gets slotted in. Next, the entire toilet system. You have the toilet, you have the toilet and you have the cart, and you have the biodegradable bag, which the biodegradable bag goes into the cart. Once the bag is relatively full, the user easily pulls it out and discards it to a nearby pit or a hole so the bag can biodegrade. Following uh, next is the biodegradable bag. Now the bag is made from a thick material and it's very heavy duty. It also uses a drawstring that can easily be pulled out by the user. And once again, it gets dumped to a nearby pit or a hole. The capacity of the bag is 45 liters, so it can be used from about 100 to 150 usages. Next is the tent. Now the tent is here to create awareness of the toilet, and it's also to have the privacy issue. Now the thing about the tent is there's an opening in the back that can allow the user to simply pull the cart out from the back of the tent, from the back of the toilet. Last but not least, the, I did not want to include any tools because obviously that would add cost to sending this out. So in terms of the cart, it needs to be heavy duty. So I decided to use a slot head screw that could easily be put together by using a butter knife or a coin or a penny, anything, anything that can be found. And this allows the user to simply put this together without any ne tools necessarily. Um, now the use cycle, as I mentioned, was once the user uses it, then the user just pulls the toilet, uh, pulls the cart out of the toilet and then the user pulls the bag out using the drawstrings, the bag drops to the cart, and then simply drops off the waste to a nearby pit or a hole. And that's my project, the DR toilet, the disaster relief toilet system.